In today's video, we're going to perfect your E grace notes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. Today, we're continuing our perfecting grace note series with the E grace note. That's the ring finger on the top hand. Yes, we have a dominant primary grace note that happens to be a ring finger motion. So that can be a little bit challenging, but fear not, with these exercises here, it'll get under control. In the description below, there's a link to the PDF document I have here. So go ahead, print that out, put it on a tablet, have it in front of you so you can follow along. Before we start today, there's a big argument about where you keep your pinky. And my answer is, it depends. It really depends on what works best for you. We want both a quick up and downward motion, but for some people, having the pinky up makes that upward motion quite slow. For other people, having it up means the upward motion is good, but they have a problem lowering it. But you know what? There's some folks that have a problem when the pinky's down. I don't move my ring finger nearly as well when my pinky is down under most circumstances, so I tend to keep mine up. But where should yours be? Try it both ways and see which way the E grace note works out better for you. Since I've heard top flight players on both sides of the pinky up and pinky down argument say that's how you should do it, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I want you to feel for yourself which one works best for you in your world. Let's dive right on in. So we're going to start with an E grace note on low G. So that's everything down. And again, the E grace note, top ring finger. And here we are going to lower, boom, our top ring finger onto that low G to crisply sound a cha right before that low G. Then from here, we're going to lift with an E grace note to A. So that's going to be lifting our pinky and our top ring finger together and then boom, crisply lowering that top ring finger to complete the low A. And when you can do that well, try to make both the upward and downward motions equally explosive. You want your grace notes crisp and clear and small. You don't want them overly big and tonal. The E is too present there. We want it to be a cha, but first you gotta make sure you're moving your fingers correctly. Let's keep on going. From here, from A to B with an E grace note, that's gonna be lifting both ring fingers and then lowering the top. We're lifting the bottom ring finger to go to the B, and we're lifting the top ring finger for the E grace note, and then as soon as that top ring finger's off, again, closing it to sound that B with an E grace note. Make sure they're lifting together. If the bottom finger comes up early, you're going to hear a run through that B. I call that the chicken noise. You can kind of hear an extra little. So make sure they're lifting crisply together. Like they're both attached with strings to like the same marionette handle. And as it gets moved up, they move together. All right, as we continue through the exercise, we're on B. We're now going to use an E grace note to go down to an A. So the only thing we have to lift here is the grace note itself. Nothing else has to lift for this change. And then we're gonna, boom, lower the two ring fingers to hit that A. And when you can do it well, clean and open, crispen up, shorten up that grace note. The next change here is another E grace note change to B. We've already covered that, so we're gonna keep on going. So the next is B to C with an E grace note. We're gonna lift two fingers, the bottom middle finger and the top ring finger again because of the E grace note. But from here, we're gonna lower not just the grace note, but also boom, the pinky because a proper C is in this position. Now, I don't like to switch the hands and then lower. I like my motions being everything up, everything down together. It just makes everything more mechanically efficient and cleaner sounding. I normally play with my pinky up, but I'm gonna try to tuck it when I can think about it so that you can see that E grace note a little bit more because I can't put the chatter that way. Now next, we're going back down from C to B with an E grace note. That's gonna involve two fingers coming up, the grace note, of course, but also that pinky. Again, we wanna lift everything together at the same time. And then from this position, we're gonna lower our top ring finger and bottom middle finger to hit that B. Nice, clear, and crisp, but first make sure you can do it good, clean, and open. The next change is another E grace note up to C. We've already covered that. So again, we're gonna keep on going with a 
C, G grace note to D. To do this, you'll be on C. You're going to lift the bottom pointer finger because we're heading to a D. Again, top ring finger, E grace notes. This finger is getting a lot of work. So two are coming up, and in this case, just one coming down. The pinky is down for both C and D, so it ain't moving right now. The next note change is D, E grace note to C. In this case, lifting one finger, just the grace note, and down to a C with the E grace note coming down and the C coming down, which are the ring finger on top, pointer finger on bottom. As we continue through this, we can see that we've already done again C, E grace note to B. We've gone from B, E grace note to C, and then we've also again gone E grace note back to B, E grace note down to A, we've gone up to B. We've done most of these changes. The one we have not done yet, however, though, is A, E grace note to low G, here between bars one and two of line two. So let's go ahead and try that. A, in this case, just the ring finger coming up. Nothing else has to come up to go to a low G. And then boom, two down to smartly sound that G. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and try these first five measures here, ending on that dotted half note A in bar two of line two. Let's go ahead. We have the metronome set at, let's go with 65 beats per minute and see how this goes. That's the speed I picked. Pick a speed that works for you in your world. If it needs to be slower, by all means, slow it down. If you find that certain changes here are particularly difficult, perhaps turn off the metronome for a while, sort out that particular change, whichever one it might be, and get it good, clean, clear, and accurate. Then throw it back in, get that metronome going, and try to get those grace notes as best you can to land on the chirp of the beat. That's where they fall. Continuing here, we're now going to be skipping some notes using E grace notes. So we're starting on the third measure of line two. And again, E grace note to low G. We've already talked about that. But now we're going to go with an E grace note up to B. In this case, we're going to be lifting, of course, the grace note, but also the pinky and ring finger on the bottom. So we have three coming up. It's really important that we move these two together, though. You might need to think about moving that ring finger almost before the pinky, just to make sure that it comes up and you don't have a run through that A. That's like running through everything. We want to try to get everything up together. And then from there, to finish it, we'll of course close that grace note to the B. If you find this finger's really dragging, try a few times with your hand on the channer. You don't even have to blow through the instrument to do this. Try to pop that finger up individually, nice and explosively. Get a good quick lift out of that finger. Do that, I don't know, five to 10 times and then try it again and see if maybe, just maybe, that finger's moving a little bit quicker if you're getting a little run through the A there between low G, E grace note to B. So now we're on B, we're gonna be doing an E grace note to D. So in this case, three fingers are coming up, the ring finger, kind of the point of this whole video, as well as the pointer and middle finger on the bottom. And then from here, we're gonna lower the grace note and the bottom pinky. Again, we want everything coming up together, everything coming down together. When you can do that cleanly and accurately, try to speed up the grace note itself. Don't speed up the note before it, just the grace note. Now from D, we're gonna use an E grace note to go back to a B. So for that, we're going to lift the ring finger, of course, it's the grace note itself, and the pinky on bottom. From here, we're gonna lower three, the ring finger on top, the pointer finger, and the middle finger to hit that B. Then from here, going into line three, we're going to be starting on a B and doing an E grace note to low G. In this case, just one finger has to come up and then boom, everything down. This has a potential of a run through the A yet again before the low G, where you can hear these fingers running together. If you find that's happening, a good exercise might be kind of a bit of the opposite of what we did earlier. 
your fingers in a B position, and again, no need to even blow through the channel for this, and keep that ring finger up and try to just smack that pinky down, keeping that ring finger in the air. You might feel a bit of a stretch there, I am. But that can really get a nice aggressive closing of that pinky happening, um, so you don't have that run through the A. So B, E grace note to low G, one up, three down. Continuing to jump around, we're going to now be going low G with an E grace note to C. So here, ring finger comes up as well as the middle and ring finger on the bottom because we're heading to a C. And then from there, boom, ring finger down and done. If you're enjoying the content so far, consider joining my Patreon, where a monthly contribution goes a long way to helping support the channel. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so link below, and you can see it right here to the Patreon. Check it out. All right, so C, E grace note to A as we continue this jumping around. Here we're going to lift the ring finger on top for the grace note and the pinky on the bottom, because again, it's not down for an A, and we want everything that needs to lift to come up together. And then boom, lowering the ring, middle, and ring to get down to that A. Now here we're doing A, E grace note to C. We're gonna lift the top ring finger, the bottom middle finger, and the bottom ring finger. So again, this top ring finger up for the grace note, the middle and ring on the bottom up for the C, and then to close to a C, top ring finger and the bottom pinky come down. Again, try it slow a few times. Make sure everything's moving together. No extraneous noises. When you can do that, try to crispen up that grace note. Now we're on C, we're going to be doing an E grace note to low G. It's a lot of notes to skip, but it's not that hard. We're gonna raise just the top ring finger and then boom, everything down, because everything's down on low G. And then from here, we're going low G, E grace note to D. We're gonna raise the top ring finger and the bottom pointer, middle and ring, because those are all for a D. And then we have to lower just that top ring finger to close out to a solid D. And again here, if you hear a bit of a run, think about maybe adding just the tiniest bit of radial motion, kind of like you're turning a doorknob just a little bit to get those fingers up and make sure that the pointer finger is ever so slightly higher than the other ones. If your hand looks like this on D, it's possible you had a run on your way up. If it looks like this when you're done, it's likely that you did not. All right, D, E grace note to low A. This time we're gonna raise the top ring finger again, E grace notes, and the bottom pinky, cause it's not up for A. And then the ring finger down, as well as the pointer, middle and ring on bottom for a good low A. Then from here, A, E grace note to D, the other way around. Again, ring finger on top comes up, along with the pointer, middle and ring on bottom, cause they're not down for a D. We're gonna to close to the top ring, bottom pinky, to get to a good solid D. Again, I like to think about everything up together, everything down together. And then to finish up, we're on D, and we're gonna do an E grace note to low G. That one's fairly straightforward. Yet again, guys, we're gonna be on D. E grace note comes up, that top ring finger, and then boom, everything down for a good solid low G. So now let's start on the third measure of bar two and try this again. We're gonna be at 65 beats per minute, but pick a speed that works for you. And again, if you have tricky bits, sort those out first. But when you're ready, get it with a metronome and give it a try. enjoying this video, please think about giving it a like, commenting below with any thoughts you have, or even subscribing to the channel. It helps more than you know. All right, back to it. Now in this next section, we're going to use the same sequence of notes that we did here, 
But instead of just changing notes, we're also going to separate each grace note with yet another E grace note. This guy is really getting a workout today. It's the same pattern we did in the D grace note. And if you haven't checked out the D grace note video, it's right up there. So give that one a look if you wanna get your D grace notes under control. But again, the first time through this, we're going to separate each note into two even notes. Bum, 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 bum. Trying your best to get that separating grace note right evenly at that 50% point between the two notes. We've already worked out all these note changes, so no need to talk about that. And again, we're just separating them yet again into two with an E grace note. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Ready, go. <laughs> I'm feeling it right here. That's a lot of E grace notes, but the idea is to really get that guy worked up, ready to go so that, well, it can be smaller and more reliable in your tunes. Now on page two here, you can see that rather than separating the notes evenly, we're going to do it in a pointed rhythm where the first note in each pair is gonna be longer than the second one. Bum, ba-bum, 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 ba-bum. Bum. Very common rhythm in Scottish pipe music. Ready, go. <laughs> And then moving on to snapped rhythms. A snapped rhythm is when the first note in the pair is now short. Da-dum, 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 da-dum. Very popular rhythm in Strauss bass in particular, but it shows up in all sorts of other tunes as well. So good rhythm to get under control and another chance to get that E grace note working for you. So ready, go. <laughs> Ooh, again, I'm feeling it. It's a lot of work for that finger. I probably wouldn't do this every day. It's certainly not every day of the week, though maybe a few days in a row if you really want to build up your dexterity in that finger. But a few exercises here for the E grace note, which can often be slow and clunky to hopefully speed it up. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, check this one out right here about C grace notes and how they might just benefit your D and B grace notes. Or this tune right here, Pipe Sergeant Peter Bailey that has the three primary grace notes in a fun and easy to play melody. In the description below, there's links to my online Command Your Bagpipe store and you can always get more information about lessons at www.commandyourbagpipe.com. I'm Matt Willis and until next time, cheers.